be home soon. I'll be peeing. I love my family. That's all you got to say. You know, I have uh, never in 23 years approximately ever not accepted a sentence agreement between the parties because it's a bargain for sentence by the parties. But watching you sit there, smile and laugh and shake your head like this was no big deal, I'm very tempted to just say, I'm not going to accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial. And if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to prison for the rest of your life. That means you'll die there. That's what I'm tempted to do. Mr. Bella, do you want me to accept this sentence agreement? Your Honor, may we approach Bruce? Yes. <laughs> lengthy discussion uh, with the victim's mother as well as his grandparents uh, and some family members. Uh, they understand that obviously this, this is the defendant who uh, brutally uh, murdered their son by shooting him in the back of the head. He's shown absolutely no remorse. Um, he's written rap songs to other murderers about continuing killing and throughout the victim impact statements today he, he smiled and, and laughed um, throughout the entire proceeding. Um, however, the Klee family um, does want to move on with this. They want to get some closure from this case. And they want to try and forgive this defendant and all of his actions uh, for what he did. And they are asking, as well as the people, uh, that you proceed with the sentence. Okay. Anything further, Mr. Colsey? Your Honor, my client asked me to apologize to the court. His smiling was in no way meant as disrespectful either to the family, to the victim, or to this court. My client is 17 years old. He has some emotional problems and frankly was scared. And some people display fear by smiling. He really meant no disrespect. He does take this very seriously. And what I started to tell the court before, before my client interrupted me, was that he did admit to the probation officer during the interview that he was involved, that he did cause the, the death of the young, young man. It was never intentional. He never intended to hurt anybody. And I think he does feel bad about it. Now, at his age and in his condition, he may not be able to express it as well as some other defendants might. But he does feel bad about it. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Wright? No. All right. Only because, as Mr. Bella has just said, this is the wish of, of uh, the uh, victim's family, the wishes of the prosecutor, and uh, the bargain for sentence between all the parties. I will adopt it.